This is an article from Bloomberg Music, and the headline reads, Bollywood rapper sets viewer record YouTube isn't talking about. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang, chitty, light, teri, yaga, laga, just diya, salai. Over 75 million views in 24 hours. But YouTube has not talked about it at all the way that they talked about other people who have previously broken this record. Not only is YouTube declining to comment, other people are also saying that these views were bots, that they're fake Views. So the reality is that these views aren't actually fake, they are bot. Now, not bot, B-O-T, bot, B-O-U-G-H-T, but they're bought from YouTube. This is common practice amongst other artists and probably was used for the previous record holders. And it begs the question, why now would YouTube not talk about this record and start to reevaluate how they measure their records in general? So before we get into more about this specific situation, let's actually do a brief explanation of how YouTube works. You have a seed stuck in between your teeth. This is a disaster. Oh my God, it's, it's big. really big. Yeah, it's I'm chia sorry, seed. Man. I apologize. Now there's two sides to YouTube. Platform to consumer, like what's happening right now, and platform to advertiser. And that's how YouTube actually works. It's how YouTube makes money. Now, a lot of people who just watch YouTube on the platform to consumer side probably don't know much about this. YouTube's advertiser channel gets like a thousand views on their videos because no one really cares to like watch that. One of my favorite channels on YouTube. <laughs> it's so good. So the way it works is that an advertiser comes to YouTube and they want a specific amount of views in a specific demographic. Kellogg cereals, Blakes and Buffs and Pops. And YouTube is able to deliver that almost down to the view exactly. This is why our ROIs have seen year on year double digit growth and why YouTube has earned the honor of being our number one online video partner in just two years. The way that YouTube can guarantee that and achieve it is they actually have multiple forms of advertising. One of these forms is called True View. The True View family of video ads lets viewers choose your video and you pay only when they choose to watch your message. So you only pay if you actually get the view from the audience that you're looking for. The advertiser can also pay for a 15 or a 30 second ad that runs before the video you wanted to watch that fully plays through and is definitely registered as a view. Seriously, if you manage a team, you need to use monday.com. And these ads that are playing before the videos you want to watch are actually hosted on other YouTube channels. Seriously, if you manage a team, you need to use monday.com. And the views that they get from these ads register on the actual view on the channel. For example, if you wanna pay for something to get a million views, you can do that. And after the ad's done running, your YouTube video will show that it has a million views. It'll probably be pretty expensive, but you can do it. And there's no way for us as the audience to tell which of those views were bought and which were just found organically. Okay, so now for the controversy of the week. Indian rapper Bacha unofficially got the record for the most views ever on a debut of a song. The reason you might be just hearing about this now is because YouTube has remained pretty silent on this matter and that has become big news. In the past, they've made sort of announcements. They sent out congratulation tweets when BTS, Blackpink, and Ariana Grande broke the record, but they've still said absolutely nothing since Badshaw's video debuted. A lot of people are calling these views fake, that he did not actually earn this record. But Badsha actually commented on this. What some people call fake views are actually not fake views. These are Google AdWords. It's a way of promoting your video. We bought AdWords all around the world so that people could see the video all around the world. Paid promotion is standard practice among many artists promoting their music, including the previous record holders. It's just like buying a billboard or a TV commercial. It's been used for years. So there is an argument that we read from Bloomberg that the reason why YouTube isn't talking about this is because a lot of the views were purchased from India. People saying it's because he's Indian, that it's racism plus corporate control. And the Indian audience is actually less expensive than other audiences around the world. This is because the Indian audience, although very large, is not considered by advertisers to have the same purchasing power as necessarily an American audience or an audience from the UK. So that begs the question, did YouTube not celebrate this record because this audience is actually not pertinent to their advertising business? It seems possible. It seems like a possibility. But the main conversation that Samir and I have been having about this is whether YouTube should have to disclose how many views on a video are actually real and organic and how many were bought. Because when you think about it, a creator has to disclose when they are paid to make a video. Hello, and welcome to my first brand deal. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do have something I gotta mention before we get into this. Oh yeah, we do? Yeah, uh, I wanna thank the wonderful people at SeatGeek. So shouldn't YouTube have to disclose when they're paid for a video? 
This is something that happens across all platforms, right? On Instagram, if somebody runs an ad, you can tell that it's an ad just like on YouTube. And after that ad is done running, the same amount of likes that it got when it was an ad are registered just as the normal post. Instagram public facing does not show us how many of these likes were from paid promotion and how many of these likes came organically. And in my opinion, I don't know if YouTube actually has to do that because it would probably hurt their advertising business. As a member of the audience, I kind of want to know personally. Even though, to be honest, the proof is in the likes and comments. If you see a video with millions of views, check the likes and the comments. If they're minimal, most likely a lot of those views were bought. You keep saying the word bot. I feel like the word bot Sold? is getting confused. Because B-O-U-G-H-T. Yeah, paid promotion is different from a B-O-T. B-O-T's like not cool. This is turning into like a spelling bee. Like B-O-U-G-H-T, bot. But I think the real question for all of you is, do you think YouTube should have to disclose when there's paid promotion on a video and when some of the views came from that paid promotion? Again, I think they should. I don't know if they should. If YouTube advertisers are happy, then creators can make money too. So like, so if you mess with the advertising business, then none of us get to create, none of us get to consume YouTube. It just feels slightly dishonest. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And I think that's it, right? You wanna give me another Hindi word to try and say? Just try and say his name in the song. Bacha, Bagal, mm -hmm. oh Bagal, Bagal. Oh God. Look, it's my first time speaking Hindi. So I think I did okay. That's not for me to decide, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> All right, we will see you next Sunday. And just a reminder that next week, August 11th, our new documentary comes out with Yes Theory. We've been spending a lot of time in this room editing the movie and you can watch it. Just head to yestheory.com slash documentary and you can actually sign up for early access to the doc. Colin? It's gonna be good. Link is in the description. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah that's where it is. It's just in, yeah, in August 11th, yestheory.com slash documentary. Peace.